Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Age of Empires 4 replay. Spawn on the bottom left side is the Blue Holy Roman Empire, we have Vortex. Spawn on the top right side is the Red Roost, we have Track 4. Or Trake 4. I have no idea. Let's go and switch over to Roost Player since we do, do have the, uh, what's it called? Pay attention to the trade bounties. The Zalic Doggos do get cleaned up there. We do have 50 trade bounty right now. Do we see any additional scouts at the moment? I believe blue. Okay, we do have additional scouts for blue. He does clean up the deer over here. Asshole deer over here. Red's trying to pie for some more of these exotic doggos. And now we do have Akin Chapel, one of the most powerful feudal age landmarks in the game. And the Kremlin. Pretty standard. The most standard landmark in the game, probably. We do now the scout. We're assuming the scout does see a bit of fire there. And blue scout is still running around. And right now, red does have 240 trade bounties, so he needs to kill off one more exotic doggo. Look at the deer. Red got lucky the deer spawns there. He can put one town center here and collect up all that delicious venison. Yeah, still be collected on out. He is going I for a town center. Town center now being deployed out on the field. Red Scout will spot it. So likely right now, in order Red to get the next bit of trade bounty, in order next tier of trade bounty, he will need to find and kill Boar. He's going to try to shank one of these villagers. Throw some arrows there as well. It's that one of the scouts. Now he's got wheelbarrow for the Roost player. Villagers collecting up some of that much needed wood. We got the stone. He has enough for a town center. He's going to be eyeing for a town center over here. Probably right there, but of course you, you don't see the deer carcasses on the ground. You have to push forward and see exactly where you want to put them. Put your town center. We've now got a line of palisades as well as being flown a field. Oh, the scouts do actually get the kill. Oh no, there's a knight in there. That's how they got a kill. Are the knights of course? Are quite effective. Does not get a kill on that villager. It's on the scouts who see a bit of fire there before the night. Let's see, how will this matchup go? The. What's it called? They're. I am drawing a blank blank. Holy Roman Empire, they have a lot of effective infantry. They have, of course, an incredibly effective mana arms versus heavy and light. They also have. Higher damage mana arms, as well as Lance Neck, an incredibly powerful uh, light melee unit. The Roost player, that's what he did in Lance Neck, and probably the Shrelzi later on. Red Scout's trying to deal for the Blue Scout there, but got Blue Scout eyeing to stop him. The Roost, of course, have access to the early knight in Castaway. She will have access to the horse archer, an incredibly powerful unit. So if the opponent goes heavy in the infantry, he may want to go for the horse archer. He does put this town center over here. It's not really close to the deer now, is it? He's got a bit of wood there. He needs to get a hunting cabin over here and start collecting up that deer. All the sheep are dead. You monster. And these villagers eyeing for a town center over here? Or are they eyeing for a lumber camp? He does actually have enough stone for a town center, so he probably is eyeing for a town center. There's a hunting cabin there, but it also provides a good amount of gold. And the town center is being employed right, right there. He may try to lure the boar over here. We've got three town centers here, so the Akin Chapel is not being utilized now, is it? Yes. 
Now got hunting techniques being pulled out by red. Very nice. And red scout and knight is made their way through. Still have a lack of any sort of military reel for the Holy Roman Empire. He has basic spearmen. The knight will go down to the arrow fire. Red right now has no more military units. That was his only early knight. And there's the boar there. And the boar does go down there. That will get him his tier 3 trade or tier 2 trade bounty as well. So if he wants any more trade bounty, he will need to get the high trade house. Pulling it right there will find him some good amount of gold income. Wooden Fortress also going on up to provide some more wood drop-off. I'm not sure why it's also going for the Lumber Camp. You can just use the Town Center with the Wooden Fortress, but either way. we got Blue Spearman advancing forward. And Blue has fully walled up his region. Red only has gone for minor walls. More of the deer is now being collected on up. The hunting camp right now is providing 12 gold per minute. And now we've got Castle Wage for the Holy Roman Empire player. The Roos player is pretty close to Castle Wage, just needs a bit more gold and food. And the Spearman does find a hit there on the scout. High trade off being plot of view, just where I thought it would be. And now do see night production for... Nope, that's early night production of the Roos. Rolling Room Empire, Empire still not gotten anything just yet. He's going for... All right, let's inspire uh, units. This guy outside the wooden porch there and does take out that part uh, spearman there. Dragon needs the cathedral, has two relics on the inside. Third relics on, being picked on up. Now we've got Castle Rage for both players. We do see the Knight Research. we got the Knights of Bane support. They do find that Pearl up there, taking him out. We do have Pierce damage not being researched by the Roos players. It's kind of mix in Horse Archers. Very nice. Horse Archers, of course, very effective. The Holy Roman Empire still has not to put on military. He's going for Fast and Pure Age. Uh, well, I don't know why he's sending this Perla over there. He knows the Priest one got taken out, so this one will easily get taken out. He does want the Horse Archers there. Horse Archers are pretty good uh, damage dealers. Relic's been picked on up, but do now have the spear advancing on four. And he's going to even take time to catch the sacred site there. Spear and are now upgraded to the veterans. You see archers and spear being plotted by the Holy Roman Empire player. The red has to make a breach here. The horse archers will provide them some mobile archer support there. Blue scout will go down there. And we do not see any stairs yet. Spearman gets some damage down these knights. They run them by. Of course, archers can roam around. They do have more damage output than the archers. And that looks like they're going to try for a charge of some of these villagers. Of course, the charge is when they focus on one unit. They charge in a formation. And there is an outpost here. He's going to receive some fire. These knights will get overwhelmed. The villagers are even trying to shank them. Villagers need to fall back, does lose one of the villagers there, but does take out those units. Right now the villager count is in favor of reds, and he has three towns to as to opposed to two. Now we've got another line of farms being pulled on out. He lost a good number of these uh, villagers. There's a, there is a relic, relic on the inside of this. 
And thanks to Relic, it's currently doing, and on the arrow, so there's up to do 15 damage and 9 damage per extra arrow. Right, so getting some great damage here. around those knights. We've got now the horse archers and a couple of knights advancing forward. The horse archers could get some volleys off. And second sight, this second sight has been captured by blue somehow. It will be stopped very shortly. No warrior monk over here. The relic here has been dropped. Looks like he's been killed off by something. So red will need to change that. You can't let that relic sit around like that. Second sight's not being decaptured. The second sight could be captured. Got these horse archers and this knight advancing on forward. And now we've got the heavy maces being fought on field. Even the man arms the anti-heavy attack being very effective versus those knights now. Warriors 42 being researched. Maganel being fought on out. And it looks like a... Uh, Blue's going to ride to reinforce the area with a stone wall. Regular archers advancing forward, trying to get some regular damage advancing on forward. That's a good hit there on the knight, not on the horse archers. That unit does go down right there. Right now, the military force is in favor of blue, but it's mostly cheap uh, spearmen. He has getting a good number of crossbows out, has a good number of archers out. The Bruce player has a lot of good horse archers, which are, like I said before, and they're pretty good, especially when you get gallop. Once you get galloping, it will increase their range by two. For eight seconds, though. But still enough for, what, three arrows at uh, two extra range? That would be enough to strike up impunity in a lot of cases. These archers are to advance on forward. There's a large force they will find. Red's going to try to make a breach over here. Maganel pretty far away. That villager will get taken out as well. Going for keep here, trying to claim this gold deposit, as well as keep the secret site to secure. Bruce player is now trying to regather the forces. So he could potentially grab a relic from the monastery. The scout does go down right there. Maganel setting on, uh, not setting on up. Warmonk charging forward. We'll get quickly overwhelmed by the spearmen. And now we've got Red's force fans forward. We'll find some of these villagers. Man of arms, the spearmen, crossman trying to come over here and spawn with. Maganel does get a good hit there. Militia not being floated on the field. Most of charging forward. The Roost player is splitting his force. So we've got this arm here. Villagers moving around. Most of doing a good job holding the line. And this Maganel will get overwhelmed. Will fire a volley before going down. Gets a great hit down the crossbows. The Roost player is still being engaged. And now if they man arms their maces, they will do extra damage for both versus them. Luso has a sizable army inside this line. These villagers now trying to find some sort of shelter. They're going to get ripped apart by these forces. Uh, Roost Knight's still running around at this force here as well. This ground arm is still being very, very problematic. Maganel's going to find a deadly hit right there. Gets a sizable kill there, and it's not any close to death at the moment. We'll find another volley relatively soon. Find some good hit down crossbows as well. Another wave of militia not being employed on the field. He still he gets the rest of the supplies there. Militia advance on forward. Just get some archers here. Does lose that. Uh, Maganel there. Man arms currently has six pierce armor. Venom archers only have eight damage. They do two damage each versus man arms. But he's out of man arms here. Now got the archers pushing away forward. Gets good hits there. Knight does advance on forward. Keeps a good damage on this force. There's actually some spearmen still here. 
Red is still eyeing for a counterattack? Uh, these Magnals need to stop moving like that. We got a force here. These uh, force archers do find engagement, getting some kills. Red does not have textiles just yet. And it looks like Blue's army is finally being cleaned on up. There's still some forces here. Marshall's trying to pursue this force here. Does find that single spearman. This small force archers will be falling back. Not sure what happened to Maganos. We still got a keep over here. Red has lost a large number of villagers, but still has well one sacred site. Blue does have three relics. S4 still being a bit of a problem there. Spring God will clean it up eventually. As it cleaned it up. Bruce Blair still has more talents at the moment. He is building more villagers. I go for wooden force there. Will be stopped and will lose his villagers there. At this point in time, he cannot be losing these villagers. Red's getting a good number of archers and crossbows, or just archers. Only one crossbow at the moment. Lou has a good number of crossbows and men at arms. Red needs to get out some more crossbows. Lou is low in wood of all the resources and actually has basically no way collecting wood at the moment. He needs to push out onto the other parts of the map to get wood. Bruce's scout does look down. Archer's trying to get some damage on in. Let's find a good volley there. Started stepping away. The number of spearmen here, so he can't push him with his knights. Not to mention they will have trouble versus those men arms as well. At this point in time, men arms not going to be useful, or knights will be less useful. There's too many spearmen and too many uh, men arms. He just needs to get out regular horsemen at this current rate. They will do at least do bonus damage versus uh, archer force and not receive bonus damage from those crossbows. It looks like Blue's fallout lines are seeing quite a bit of damage there. Militia doing good work there. He spawned what Militia could. More archers getting some good damage on in. But the men of arms are closing on in. No spring guard replacement on the Kremlin. You could actually garrison the Kremlin to get some extra arrows. And we do have a blue keep here. Red's keep is still fine, collecting up all that gold. Now I've got the Elf Bok Palace not being floored on the field. Magno firing a volley. It's a great hit there on those forces. These Magno shots exactly what he needs. Elf Bok Palace is being read uh, Repassing a massive hit there. Elk Bok Palace. Acts to keep a positive spin held. All buildings within its influence take 33% less damage. So it's just a super heavy keep. Finds a volley there, more nice charging forward. Does not get a charge attack on this man arms. Man is trying to overrun the Maganel. Nice small hit there. Maganel does get cleaned on up. Red just needs more crossbows. He may not be able to go with the high armory this time around. He may need a good, decent hit there. He may need to get out some, uh, the other keep, uh, the other landmark just simply for as a quick keep. These villagers start receiving quite a bit of fire. Does deny the gold deposit. Will not be able to claim the gold deposit for himself. And he's going to just take time to start collecting the stone. Does might as well. They're cut off. We got more keeps advancing on forward. Right now, Red has his inferior force. Let's get a trebuchet. It is building trebuchet. He has a pair of magnets on the field queue. There's a lot of crossbows here and archers. I still believe he should build out horsemen rather than the knights. <laughs> the stone deposit only has 160 left, so this is quite a bit of investment for a small bit of stone. You really took a look at the stone deposit before claim yet. 
We now got elite technology being brought up by the Holy Roman Empire player. He needs to get our elite army tactics. That stone has been claimed now. Town center just getting some arrows over there. And more of these villagers are just being picked off by this keep. There does have us one more village than his opponent, but with all the extra relics and the improved relic income that the uh, Holy Roman Empire player plus the Octane Chapel here, he's going to be collecting stuff at an incredibly high rate. The tier 2, he's maybe a tier 3 bounty, which also does improve his villager gathering rate, but it's not as much as the Octane Chapel. That is what's fancy forward. Got three Magnals here. Finds the decent volley there, not a massive volley there. Trying to push on forward to the Magnals. We'll find a lot of crossbows. Magnals finds a volley over here. He's good games there. Does the front line of the blue, which will hold the front line. He's going for the the Spriskasi uh, tower. Grants of all the weapon placements and as well as able to build then stone walls and stone gates, but that's not important right there. Militia charging forward. This will get him, of course, Roots player up to the next age. He needs to start getting out his own elite technology. He's getting out uh, a big wave of Shrulsi, another powerful item, and more generalists. He's Maganels on a bad position there. He needs to re-task his uh, Maganels. Uh, that's, his, that's his own fault, that bad placement. But his, his ground forces do not manage to overrun. Maganels not going to find a volley onto this uh, range force there. Does not get a great hit there. Most of these villagers do get cleaned on up. There's a small bit of gold deposit that a Roost player needs to hard start eyeing. You may want to eye to get some banner rams over in this region as well. Roost player does have a trebuchet somewhere. Maybe he needs one of those keys that I mentioned before and needs a banner ram for. Crossbow keep crossbow. Got good number of magnels help support them. That's a good follow there. Charles should not be pulling the field. Front line. Will not last all too long. The Roost player is pulling back and he's time to recruit his forces. Strolls are pretty nice. They provide some, they're cheaper and they provide the same firepower as regular uh Kankaniers, as well as have a defensive melee weapon. This Megana, however, does get fully cast there. These main arms of base support does not have the two-handed weapons just yet. Okay, we do see a stable here. Maganel's going to see some fire there, but the trolls are here to protect them. One Maganel does go down. This range force is being cleaned on up. We're seeing fire from this bombard. And you've got biology research as well as elite horsemen and elite archer research. Trebuchet hitting some rocks against this tower. And the roost keep does get cleaned on up. We do have a secret site captured, still captured up by the roost. This keep will be cleaned up shortly. One more rock and that'll probably do it. Horseman now base four. This keep needs to be cancelled. Let's cancel the keep in time. Has a couple of knights in Syria. He does not have those uh, swords to increase the damage output. Push to go down, going for a line of palisade walls there. There is a breach there apparently. Unable to get it up and going. And now he's got these horsemen in the back line as well. <laughs> horsemen gains good hits there onto these villagers, taking them out individually. Oh, here we've got these horsemen dancing on four. Magnos finds a volley on one of them. Horsemen going to stream on in, trying to hit the back uh, hunting or farming line. Some of these knights are advancing on four, trying to get some good hits. Wooden Fortress has been cleaned up, and now we've got more stone walls being put out by the Holy Roman Empire player. 
Are they supposed to advance him forward? And the uh, Super Scout's castle has received some hits, but does have a cannon to retaliate with. Blue now has more blows from the opponent. Yeah, he's more trying to come forward with those supports there. Does get some spring dolls there. Magnus fancy support as well. You can use these nearby pillars to get it repaired up. Looks like he's running low on wood. Okay, there's some plenty of wood right there. Both red and blue, both have pop cap. He's working on dancing on forward. Might get some damage on in. Multiple bombards here. Gets good damage on the siege workshop. Stroll scene arch has placed forward. Those have been senior heroes wizard. Magnol finds a small volley there. Got a massive wave of Strelz is trying to push on the way forward. Springdolls need to hit those bomb bars as soon as they can. Horsemen still being better found there. We're just needs to get out some more villagers. Springdolls to take out one of the bomb bars. Maganel's firing a volley there, but rolls misses. More horsemen facing forward. The Bruce player needs to pull out some palisade walls just to protect the flank. There we go. And I got all six sides captured by the Holy Roman Empire player. Springgold find some hits there. Needs one more hit. Just push on forward and then fire. Nope, he's just. He may lose those Springgolds there. Magnol's going to fire a shot. Rolls a miss there. Charles is receiving too much arrow fire there. Get another archers here and hand full crossbows. Magnol's trying to get over ran. Magnels finds some shots there, as long as you see the Magnels, you can find those boots from the Magnels. Now I've got the static place there, so now the shots are going to be firing in double time. And now, if yeah, something didn't move there, the front line will disintegrate. He says one Magnel here to fire from. Magnel finds a decent hit there. And there's the last of that gold. This gold can still be claimed. The Roost player does have enough stone for it to keep there as well. He might need to go for it. He could probably send a couple villagers to start preparing up the tower, but well, not likely he's going to get it. You're now town center next to this uh, tower there. You can perhaps use some uh, building crawling to get to over here. Maybe good idea to go with the reinforced defensives. This, let's see, both second sites, two second sites in this region. That's why there's a lot of blue forces here. Red may need their eye for a flank over here. And these elite knights do get annihilated. So it was eight minutes of work with to stop the Sacred Side victory. Horsemen trying to find a flank. These knights should be okay with those horsemen. So on base on four as well. Got some spearmen here, so knights will have a bit of trouble. Church to base four, trying to get a good volley off on this town center. Balzo, Ruth Maganel's base four. This one's still severely damaged. Horsemen do create a breach there. Now they're going to go make their way to the villagers. The Charles have made it too far forward. They're trying to run down these forces. Does get some good hits there. Can use some risk repair. I should just use it right now. They'll get max it out. And yep, next volley will come on in. We'll probably be most repaired. Charles have done some good damage over there. Horsemen still charging forward. And there's nothing there to stop him. He's losing too many villagers. Let's take out some of those forces there. Bruce Player's having trouble reading Max. He's trying to get out more archers, couple more Chelsea, more of the elite knights. And more of these villagers starting to go on down. He does beat off the one horseman there, beating the knights away from the other horseman. Good volley there, and Red does back of the game now. He was just unable to keep his back line secure. This is Andgrade saying thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.